And in this next matchup, we've got Terence McKinney versus Ishmael Bonfim. And the whole time I've been on the Ishmael Bonfim side, I do believe in Ishmael Bonfim. I picked him on a Dana White's Contender Series fight when quite a few people were picking Ishmael Bonfim, to be fair. But I saw people on Twitter saying that they were going to line at Nariman Abasov, minus 300, and then the odds dropped, and everyone was all over um, Abasov, man, because uh, Bonfim was a slight favorite, I think, in that matchup. But... Terence McKinney, he's dangerous, he's very popular with the fans, uh, he's very active on Twitter. I think he's just a guy that you can easily be a fan of, in my opinion. I don't really understand why he's got a lot of fans. But in this matchup, in this fight, if he doesn't finish Ishmael Bonfim in the first round, I think Ishmael Bonfim is going to start to take over and win the second and third round. And I've got Ishmael Bonfim by decision. I feel like Bonfim, maybe he's more likely to get some sort of submission win, but we know how good Terence McKinney's wrestling is. And if Terence McKinney wants to win this fight, in my opinion, he does have to lean on that wrestling a little bit. But then even then, you do have to worry about um, Terence McKinney potentially slowing down in the matchup as well, because we have seen him slow down in the past, albeit he was empty in his gas uh, gas tank trying to finish opponents. But I think Terence McKinney's the more dangerous striker. Ishmael Bonfim's more technical, in my opinion, but he's also likes to brawl as well like he's got an amateur boxing background multiple time national brazilian amateur boxing champion i believe an amateur record of 14 and 2 pro record of 4 and 1 i could be wrong but they're the numbers that i think i can remember terence mckinney he's a very very powerful guy on the feet but he is a wrestler and he well he does have a very good wrestling background that we just haven't really seen in the ufc yet and I think that's where he's going to have most of his success with Ishmael Bonfim. But Ishmael Bonfim is a very good submission guy as well. He's got many submissions on his record. But for the most part, he has that boxing base. You know, like his brother as well. His brother who's on later on the card. But Ishmael Bonfim, very good boxer. Very good technical boxer. I think he's going to be moving and maybe frustrate Terence McKinney on the feet. And I think Terence McKinney is going to slow down in the second and the third round. And that's where Ishmael Bonfim is going to take over and win a decision. So give me Ishmael Bonfim. Using his boxing, maybe um, he might have to defend a couple of takedowns by Terence McKinney, but he did show pretty good takedown defense against Naren Manabasov for the most part. And even then, if it does get to the ground, Ishmael Bonfim has got a very good um, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu background as well, and I think that he would be able to um, at least escape some, some positions that Terence McKinney is going to get him in, and maybe work for some missions of his own, get the fight back to the feet. I think Ishmael Bonfim has been very underrated in this matchup. Terence McKinney as well, I believe, is very underrated in Ishmael Bonfim as well. I've seen Terence McKinney. He isn't really be, he isn't talking down Ishmael Bonfim, but he kind of doesn't seem to be um, rating Ishmael Bonfim that highly from what I've seen on Instagram and, and, and Twitter, which makes sense. Like, that's what you're meant to do. But I think that he's going to really have to take Ishmael Bonfim seriously in the matchup. And I think Bonfim might surprise a lot of people. So give me Bonfim by decision. This guy's a very legitimate prospect. If he beats Terence McKinney, his name value is going to go up big time. He's going to be 19 and 3, which is just an insane record. And he's only 27 years old. But yeah, I feel like if Terence McKinney wants to win the matchup, he might have to lean on the wrestling. Or he's going to have to find a KO on the first. I just don't think Ishmael Bonfim is going to allow that to happen. I think he's going to take over in the second and third round.